NAPOL stands for Network Automation and Programmability Abstraction Layer with Multi-Vendor Support. NAPOL is a Python library that implements a set of functions to interact with different network device operating systems using a unified API. NAPOL Automation Community on GitHub for Huawei VRP, which is the OS of Huawei devices. We can find here all what we need about NAPALM, including how to install using command pip install napalm huawei vrp and a list of the supported APIs that can run and interact with Huawei devices. In this video, we are going to use getFacts API in a Python script to get general information about the router. Let's head to the lab to implement the Python script that will run on Linux desktop, which is connected in the lab to Huawei NE 40E router. Nabalm requires SSH to be enabled on the router. Well, let's go now to Linux desktop terminal and go to Huawei directory in which we create uh, Python scripts for Huawei devices and create a new file named as nabal underscore get underscore facts then enter here I'll create and write the Python script of nabal I'll start by the shipping hashtag exclamation mark slash user slash bin slash env space python and from the ball import get underscore network underscore driver then I'll create a new parameter named as driver to indicate that I'm going to interact with Huawei network device. So driver equal get underscore network underscore driver, then open around bracket in which I'll indicate Huawei underscore VRP. Then I'm going to ask the Python script to open an SSH connection with the router. Before I ask the script to open the SSH connection with the router, I have to insert the connection details that will be used. The connection details are the IP address, username and password. So I will create a new parameter named as device equal then from the driver created above, I will indicate the connection details. The connection details are hostname, which is the IP address of the router. It's 10.1.1.2. can make sure that this is the IP address that is configured. Huawei, Huawei NE40E router has Ethernet interface once 1 slash 0 slash 0 is connected to Linux desktop. So let's check the IP address configured on this interface using command display. IP interface brief. This interface 100 is configured with 10.1.1.2. So the IP address here is correct. Then the username of the SSH connection is configured as Huawei. Then the password. is configured as Hamdi H capital at 123. Then I will close the round brackets. Finally, I'll ask the script to open the SSH connection using device.open. After I open the SSH connection, I am going to use the getFacts API. So I will receive the getFacts API contains in a parameter named as getFacts 
and this is device dot get underscore facts this is the API of my ball then I'll up output the contents of get facts using print get underscore facts let's save the file and make sure that the changes I have added is applied list the files in this directory using ls hyphen l and then I'll use cat napalm underscore get facts this is a file that I have just created and this is a script I have uh, applied to the, to the file so right now I'm going to execute this script using python napalm underscore get underscore facts the python code is now executed successfully and this is the output of the python code is a dictionary the output of the python code is get facts parameter which is printed here in this command print get facts and the get facts parameter is the api of nabal get underscore facts we can see here the output in a dictionary to clearly print the output of this dictionary we can use pprint instead of print only let's check it and back to the script again using nano napalm underscore get underscore facts the name of the file and import pprint and instead of print get facts we will write pprint dot pprint get facts save changes then execute the python code again the result and the output of the python code is now more obvious and items of the dictionary can be read and view it well i can also modify the script to only print the host name item of the dictionary so let's get back again to the script and print get underscore facts dictionary the host name item in a square brackets then save changes then execute the python code again now we have already printed the pprint of the whole dictionary and we only printed the item of the host name of the dictionary which is NE40E1. Thank you for viewing this video. I hope it can be a good value for you.